What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to test one of the oldest myths or theories in the gun community that you don't have to aim a shotgun because you guessed it, it spreads. So I've touched on this in the past and so has every other gun channel on YouTube, but still I hear people saying this stuff. People that I know, people that aren't stupid and they know about guns, they'll say stuff like, I bought my wife or myself a shotgun for home defense because you don't have to aim it. As if the spread is 10 feet wide at point blank range and can take out everyone in the room. I think this originally came from movies and video games where you do see stuff like 10 bad guys going down at once from a humongous shotgun blast and that's just not how it works. At least I don't think it is. So today, we're gonna put the nail in the coffin on this topic and make one final video and see how big a shotgun spread actually is and whether or not you need to aim it. Let's do it. Really quick before we get started, I want to thank ShootSteel.com. They just sent us a ton of brand new steel targets. In my opinion, these are the best targets, and I'm not just saying that. I've always liked Shoot Steel the most, and obviously getting a setup like this isn't cheap, so I really appreciate them hooking us up with all this stuff. This isn't their permanent home. We are going to move some of these up top, but for now, the berm up there isn't tall enough, so I obviously wanted to shoot them today. So for now, this range is absolutely stacked with all brand new steel targets. So I got a couple different shotguns out here for this one, and we'll do the spread test here in a minute, but first, I got to break in these steel targets, because most of these, I haven't even shot yet. Starting with the Benelli Supernova. I don't know. I was going to do the clay popper, but I only have four rounds. All right, let's try the clay popper. I'm not a sporting clay shooter, but I'll give it a shot. Disintegrated that thing. <laughs> Man, there's nothing like shooting a 12 gauge shotgun. I love it. And of course, we also brought the Mossberg Shockwave. Should I try a sporting clay with this one? This ought to be funny. Ah! <laughs> I think I took a little piece off of it, but definitely not a good hit. Let's shoot it from the hip, you know, the correct way. <laughs> Hope y'all could see that. Woo! The amount of luck that goes into some of these videos would amaze you guys. I never do stuff like that and that literally took me two tries. And it always happens when I'm filming videos. For whatever reason, I just get lucky a lot, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get into the shotgun spread portion of the video. So I've got two shoot and see targets on each side of my rubber dummy here. We're going to do a few different tests. Um, obviously this is like a... 20 yard shooting range probably and most indoor like home defense situations are going to be much closer five yards 10 yards at most and i'm just going to show you guys out of each of these guns how much spread you get and whether or not you have to aim the shotgun all right we're about 10 yards away which again is probably as far as you're going to get inside of a house unless you have a really big house we're going to start with the benelli supernova just regular bird shot and we'll see how big our pattern is on that target And the Mossberg Shockwave. This is a 13 or 14 inch barrel, so really short for a 12 gauge. The Benelli is one of the longest barrels you're gonna get on a shotgun, and this is one of the shortest. So both ends of the spectrum. Let's see if there's a difference. So the Shockwave hit kinda high, but most, if not all of those pellets are on the paper. I forgot that gun kinda uses a six o'clock hold, at least mine does, but that right there shows you that even out of a short-barreled Mossberg Shockwave, I mean, if I would've been an inch or two higher, I might've missed that target altogether. And I was aiming at the target, but clearly the spread is not big enough to cover this entire wall or even the entire paper target at 10 yards away. So here it is, again, not too big. I would say that's a 10 inch spread, maybe 12 at 10 yards away and then out of the Benelli obviously this one actually hit where I was aiming on the target um, but not that much different maybe 8 to 10 inches a little bit tighter 
uh, but very similar between those two guns. So at 10 yards away, no matter what shotgun you're using, yes, you do have to aim and keep in mind that the closer you are, the tighter that pattern's gonna be. So if you're four or five yards away, like inside of a house, and you're a little bit to the right or left, that entire shotgun load is gonna miss the bad guy and you can't just spray and pray like a lot of people think. And contrary to popular belief, the shorter barrel really doesn't give you that much more spread than the longer barrel. They're very similar. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is aim directly in between our rubber dummy and one of our paper targets on the railroad tie wall and just see how many pellets hit the dummy and how many hit the target. So if you weren't aiming a shotgun, this would absolutely be possible and it's really not even that bad of a miss. A couple inches on either side. So let's see what it does. I'm gonna go in between the right paper target and the rubber dummy. So you can see a few of those pellets definitely hit the paper. The wad hit the paper. Um, and I don't know if any hit the rubber dummy, but the large majority of that shotgun load hit the railroad tie wall right where I was aiming and didn't hit our targets on either side. So you can actually see right there where the majority of that shotgun load hit. Again, we do have some pellets over here on this target and then our wad hit right there. I don't see anything on the rubber dummy. And again, if you look at this, from where I was standing, it's you know barely split in between the two. So not a really big gap, and we still basically didn't hit either one of our targets. Now that being said, a lot of people can definitely point shoot shotguns, and I can do it pretty well with the shockwave actually, but when people give this reason for using shotguns for home defense, it's typically with someone inexperienced, like their wife, or you know, the reason they like it is because you don't have to practice and you can just not aim and hit pretty much anything in the room, which clearly isn't the case. Now I don't have any double lot buckshot out here or nothing like that, but the spread pattern on those is typically gonna be the same. Sometimes they're even tighter because they have like flight control wads and stuff like that. So they'll spread even less than something like the bird shot that we're using. But I do have a mini shell and I believe this is like number four and number one buckshot. So we're gonna see how this does on our rubber dummy and what the spread looks like. Well, that would have been a pretty effective shot. <laughs> so there he is right there. Obviously there is a huge benefit to shotguns and that's one of them. You get multiple hits in a concentrated area and obviously that would be a pretty effective shot in a self-defense situation. But one thing to keep in mind about buckshot, and I just talked to a friend the other day who said that um, at a pharmacy he went to, they actually had a shotgun behind the counter with buckshot for protecting the pharmacy. And keep in mind, there's like long hallways and you know stores are a lot bigger than most people's house. So if you miss the bad guy and it goes down a 40 foot hallway, it's probably gonna open up quite a bit by the time it gets to the other side of the store. And that's not good because you're responsible for every one of those and obviously buckshot pellets are much bigger than something like birdshot so keep that in mind while it doesn't spread enough to not aim and depend on that it certainly does over longer distances and you don't want to hurt innocent people but the beautiful thing about shotguns is if you want to negate that spread you can just use a slug and we have special slugs <laughs> All right, we got a full magazine tube in the shockwave and I'm gonna see if I can hit my steel targets without aiming. So point shooting from the hip and see how many of those targets we can actually hit. Let's do it. I guess I'll start with the clay popper and go left to right. Hit, hit. Let's try that little gong. Maybe you don't have to aim a shotgun. So you know what just happened right there? It's not that you don't have to aim a shotgun, it's that I'm an amazing shooter and extremely accurate and I don't have to aim my guns and I can still hit every single target, whereas most people probably can't do that. <laughs> so there's our impact on that brick of paper that we just shot. You can see the burns that we put in that thing. I absolutely love those shotgun slugs. I hope that you guys could see the amount of smoke that came off of that thing. <laughs> but that is gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't gotten the point by now, 
yes, you have to aim a shotgun and no, they don't spread enough to give to an inexperienced shooter and just tell them to point shoot it. It just don't work that way. Yes, they do spread, especially at longer range, but the problem with that is they lose effectiveness pretty quick. And you know, obviously a lot of people can point shoot them. I'm getting better at it. I'm getting to the point where I can finally hit steel targets, hit firing and stuff like that. Uh, but that takes practice just like anything else. And just because someone's inexperienced doesn't mean they're gonna be able to use a shotgun effectively. You still have to aim them. But I'm sure most of you guys knew that. I just wanted to put the nail in the coffin on this topic because still to this day, even with the hundreds of videos that are across the internet on this topic, I still hear people say they like shotguns because you don't have to aim them. And as we saw today, that's just not true. So hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.